Although the general form of the linear equation, ax plus by plus c equals zero, can be used to solve some problems, moving the constant to the other side of the equation to give the form ax plus by equals d is often more useful for solving problems, especially those involving two values that add to a known total. Let's look at an example of a problem that can be solved using this form. Carlos is renovating his house and is transporting materials home from the hardware store. His truck has a load capacity of 1,000 pounds. He plans to have sheets of drywall weighing 40 pounds each and sheets of plywood weighing 50 pounds each. A. Write the equation of a linear relation that represents the number of sheets of drywall and plywood that Carlos can carry in each load. To begin, let's define some variables to represent our unknowns. We don't know the number of sheets of drywall or sheets of plywood, so we can use variables to represent these. Let D be the number of sheets of drywall, and let P be the number of sheets of plywood. Defining the variables like this makes it very clear to the reader what each variable represents. We know that each sheet of drywall weighs 40 pounds, and we have D sheets of drywall, so the total weight of the drywall can be represented as 40D. Similarly, each sheet of plywood weighs 50 pounds, and there are P sheets of plywood, so the total weight of the plywood can be represented as 50P. These two weights added together can have a maximum of 1,000 pounds. So 40D plus 50P equals 1,000. The next part of this problem asks us to sketch a graph of the relation. This can be done by determining the two intercepts. The d-intercept will occur when p is equal to 0, so set p to 0 and solve for d. The d-intercept is 25. Similarly, the p-intercept can be determined by setting d to 0 and solving for p the p-intercept is 20. Neither d nor p is clearly a dependent or independent variable, so we can choose which one to put on the horizontal and vertical axes. Let's put p on the horizontal axis and d on the vertical axis. Note that lesson 7.2 made the opposite choice. The d-intercept is 25, so we can plot the point 0, 25. The p-intercept is 20, so we can plot the point 20, 0. Now use a straight edge to draw a line through the points. Finally, let's label the relation 40D plus 50P is equal to 1000. If we assume that Carlos is only going to carry full sheets of drywall and plywood, the relation uses discrete values. Although we've used a line to represent the relation instead of a series of points, we'll keep the fact that this relation is discrete in the back of our minds for now. The next part of the problem asks us to state the domain and range of the graph of the relation. We put p on the horizontal axis, so we'll treat it as the independent variable. This means the domain will give the possible values of p. The possible values of p are from 0 to 20 inclusive. Earlier we decided that p was discrete, so p must be a whole number. Written using set builder notation, the domain is the set of all p such that p is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 20, where p is an element of the whole numbers. Alternatively, the domain can be represented using interval notation. p lies between 0 and 20, where the lower endpoint is included and the upper endpoint is included. The range, d, includes the values from 0 to 25 inclusive. Using set builder notation, the range is the set of all d such that d is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 25, where d is an element of the whole numbers. Alternatively, we can write the range using interval notation. d lies between 0 and 25, where the lower endpoint is included and the upper endpoint is included. There's one more part to the question. If Carlos only needs seven sheets of plywood, how many sheets of drywall can he carry? To answer this question, we can start with the equation of our relation. 40D plus 50P is equal to 1000. We know there are seven sheets of plywood, so substitute this value for P. 
50 times 7 is 350. Now, subtract 350 from both sides of the equation to isolate the term that includes d. Now we have 40d equals 650. Divide both sides of the equation by 40 to isolate d. d is equal to 16.25. Carlos will be able to carry 16 sheets of drywall in addition to the 7 sheets of plywood.